Joining me now to talk about that, Texas Congressman Democrat Henry Cuellar. Congressman, good to have you with us today. Yes, uh, thank you so much. All right, I want to start by asking you, you were a no vote over in the House where it was very tight and wasn't certain at all uh, at many points along this uh, roller coaster that it was going to pass. Why were you a no vote on this bigger package? Actually, I was a yes vote on this. Uh, as an appropriator, uh, I voted yes because I wanted to make sure that we have uh, the funding of the federal government. You know, we could have policy issues, but I think those policy issues should be taken on uh, separately. But as you know, right now, at the end of the year, the only train that's moving is really the appropriation bill or the ominous appropriation bill. And that's where all these policy issues will be added at the last minute. Okay, and yes, I'm so sorry. I can't even read my own notes. They are scribbly, but it does say here that yes, you voted yes on the bill. Um, you mentioned your background as an appropriator, and a lot of people are very concerned that we come to this point, and as Senator Lee said, uh, that there are so many of these votes right at the cliff. You've got to make a decision. The government's going to shut down. Somebody's going to be blamed. Um, why are we legislating that way? And as a Democrat, how do you think things will work in the new year with a Congress that's controlled in both houses by Republicans? You know, I think it's wrong that this is uh, that we wait to the last minute and then at the last minute, uh, uh, the only train moving the appropriation bill, they add all this extra luggage. I think that's wrong. You know, we start the appropriation at the beginning of the year. We're going to start it again this year. Uh, and we started. We work on it the whole year. Uh, we're supposed to do it before September 30th. But of course, the last years, it has not been done. Uh, and we're hoping we can address this issue faster. Uh, what happens is I think the senator's right when I heard him say that at the end you're given this package and you're, it's either a up or a down. Uh, there were some things there I saw that I could vote no. There were some things there I could vote yes. But the overarching goal that I see as an appropriator is to make sure that we fund our schools, our transportation, our military, our homeland security, even though homeland was extended only to September, I mean, uh, February 27th of this coming year. All right. I want to ask you about immigration specifically because um, you were very vocal, as we saw a lot of this play out of the, over the summer, the surge at the southern border. Obviously, um, as somebody who uh, represents a border state, um, you have greater knowledge and concern about exactly what's going to happen. You were critical of the way the administration handled it as it was playing out. And you've warned that we need to be watching for another surge. Of course, we still have um, immigration uh, legislative, legislatively not handled. I mean, there is some executive action. Um, what are your concerns going into the new year on that topic? You know, historically, we've seen that as the weather gets warmer again, because it got cold, then it's going to start, uh, you're going to see a, a, a surge coming in. I don't know if we'll have the same type of surge because the big focus that we put uh, uh, this last year and, and, of course, working with Central American countries and the Republic of Mexico. Uh, but historically, numbers are going to pick up at, at the beginning of the year. Uh, I don't think they'll be the same. But even now, if you ask uh, uh, Homeland Security, there's still thousands of unaccompanied kids are still crossing. We haven't talked about it. They're not the high numbers, but every every month, there's thousands of them coming across the river uh, from the area, mainly from the area that I represent in South Texas. All right, Congressman Henry Cuellar, um, we'll keep an eye on that as we know you will, and we'd love to stay in touch with you as uh, immigration and that debate revives on the Hill early next year. In the meantime, happy holidays to you, sir.